The Challenger 3 is the latest evolution of Britain's main battle tank, set to define the future of armored warfare in the mid-21st century. As we enter 2025, this tank represents not just a modernization of the British Army's armored capabilities, but also a powerful symbol of how technology, protection, and firepower must work together in today's changing battlefield. The Challenger 3 project is more than a simple upgrade, it's a complete reimagining of what a modern tank should be in an age dominated by advanced drones, precision munitions, and electronic warfare. On EVN Ride, we are going to take a detailed look into the Challenger 3, its development, features, strengths, and what it means for the UK's armored forces in 2025. The Challenger 3 is derived from the Challenger 2, which has served the British Army faithfully for decades. While Challenger 2 proved itself in conflicts such as Iraq and Bosnia, the world has changed, and armored warfare has evolved dramatically. With Russia, China, and other nations developing cutting-edge main battle tanks and hybrid warfare systems, the UK could not afford to lag behind. That is where the Challenger 3 comes in, a tank that blends heavy armor protection with state-of-the-art firepower and advanced sensors. One of the most notable upgrades is the replacement of the old 120mm rifled gun with a brand new 120mm smoothbore gun, the Rheinmetall L55A1. This weapon is the same family of gun used on NATO tanks like the German Leopard 2 and the American M1A2 Abrams. This standardization allows the Challenger 3 to use NATO's most advanced ammunition types, including armor-piercing fin-stabilized discarding sabot rounds and programmable airburst shells. This makes the Challenger 3 far more lethal against modern threats, from enemy tanks to infantry hiding behind cover or drones hovering overhead. In addition to firepower, the Challenger 3 brings in next-generation survivability. Its armor has been redesigned with modular add-on kits, making it adaptable to different missions. The tank incorporates the latest in composite armor technology, building upon the legendary reputation of Chobham and Dorchester armor, which made the Challenger 2 one of the toughest tanks ever built. The Challenger 3 also integrates an active protection system, designed to detect incoming missiles or rockets and intercept them before they strike the tank. This feature is critical in today's battlefield, where portable anti-tank weapons and loitering drones can pose serious threats even to heavily armored vehicles. Mobility is another key factor. While the Challenger 2 was sometimes criticized for its weight and slower speed compared to rivals, the Challenger 3 addresses this with a new, more powerful engine and upgraded suspension systems. The improved mobility allows it to keep pace with NATO allies and maneuver effectively across varied terrain, from European planes to urban combat zones. This agility ensures that the Challenger 3 can fight not just defensively, but also offensively, adapting to rapid advances or retreats in modern combat. The digital backbone of the Challenger 3 is what truly makes it a tank for 2025. The tank comes with a fully digitized architecture, integrating advanced battlefield management systems that allow crews to share data in real time with other units. This network-centric approach means the Challenger 3 doesn't fight alone, it fights as part of a connected web of vehicles, drones, and command centers. Commanders can receive targeting information from reconnaissance drones, feed it into the Challenger 3's fire control system, and engage targets faster than ever before. The crew environment has also been modernized. The interior of the Challenger 3 is designed for comfort, efficiency, and safety, giving the three-person crew access to advanced optics, thermal sights, and digital displays. This allows them to operate day or night, in all weather conditions, with unparalleled situational awareness. The gunner and commander benefit from independent stabilized sites, allowing for hunter-killer target acquisition, where one crew member can identify a new target while another engages the current one. This drastically reduces reaction time in combat. From a strategic perspective, the Challenger 3 is not just a tank, it is a message. The UK's commitment to fielding a modern main battle tank shows that armored warfare is far from obsolete. Despite debates about the role of tanks in modern conflicts, especially with the rise of drones and precision missiles, the Challenger 3 demonstrates that heavy armor still has a vital place on the battlefield. It is designed not just to survive but to dominate in contested environments where lighter vehicles might be too vulnerable. 
The Challenger 3 program also reflects international cooperation. Rheinmetall, a German defense company, is heavily involved in the modernization process, working alongside British firms to bring the tank to life. This collaboration ensures the Challenger 3 remains interoperable with NATO allies and benefits from the latest European advancements in tank technology. As of 2025, the British Army plans to field around 148 Challenger 3 tanks, ensuring that its armored brigades maintain cutting-edge capabilities well into the 2040s. While the numbers are not massive compared to Cold War days, quality has now replaced quantity. Each Challenger 3 represents a highly survivable, lethal, and connected platform that can serve as the backbone of British armored forces. The Challenger 3 is also being prepared for future threats. Its digital architecture allows for upgrades over time, ensuring the tank can receive software improvements, new weapons, or enhanced defensive systems without a complete redesign. This modularity is critical in a world where technology evolves rapidly, and today's advantage can become tomorrow's vulnerability. Comparisons with other main battle tanks reveal the Challenger 3's strengths. Against the Leopard 2A7, Abrams Sept version 3, and even Russia's T-14 Armada, the Challenger 3 holds its ground with a balanced combination of armor, firepower, and digital integration. While some tanks may have specific advantages in speed or crew automation, the Challenger 3's focus on survivability, NATO ammunition standardization, and modern sensors ensures it remains one of the most formidable tanks of its era. For the soldiers who will operate it, the Challenger 3 represents confidence. Confidence that they are protected by some of the best armor in the world, that they can strike their targets with precision, and that their vehicle can endure even the harshest combat scenarios. It symbolizes